Chloe, David saved me from Jefferson. If he didn't track down the dark room, I'd be dead right now. Max, I had no clue. I should have been the one to save you, but I'm so grateful David was there. So what's your plan? We tell him everything, including that Victoria is in danger. Okay. You've been through so much. I, I believe you, Max. After all, I'm still your faithful companion. Yes, you are. So listen, in a few minutes, I won't know any of this happened. Nothing. We absolutely have to stay in your room and do nothing. Then we explain everything to David, and we finally let him do his job. You'll have to tell me exactly what I did and said just now. Just explain that I traveled through time using the photo. Will you believe me? I'll always believe you, Chloe. back. So, how was your time trip, dude? Shut up. Oh, you're alive. You're alive. Oh, both of us. I did so much to bring you back, Chloe. It worked. It actually worked. You're with me again. Looks like even fate doesn't want us apart. And I traveled through multiple realities just to save my ungrateful ass over and over. And I hope it was worth it. I don't blame you for wanting me out of your life after all my drama. Come on. I'm the official drama king and queen of Arcadia Bay this week. Just look at what my powers have caused in just a short time. I'm nobody. You're Max fucking Caulfield, time warrior. Even if you weren't, you're kind and caring. Nobody could have a better best friend. Nobody. You didn't ask for any of this to happen, but it did. You need to accept how awesome you are. Maybe I willed it subconsciously or something. I always wanted my life to be special. An adventure. But not without you. And it, it didn't happen until I moved back here. So without you, my powers wouldn't even exist. And for whatever scientific, mystical reason that we'll obviously never figure out. We were meant to be together at this exact moment in history. I have to think that Rachel was somewhere behind the scenes, fighting for justice. I'd like to think that too. We all owe Rachel Amber. Now tell me everything that happened. You, you remember, right? Well, we, we left the party and made sure Jefferson couldn't find us. For once, I was glad I lived in an actual fortress. Then the storm got hella crazy, and, and you said we would be safe at the lighthouse. Chloe, look. The storm is getting bigger now. And it's coming closer. Ugh, I, I can't even believe this is real. This is happening because of me. Stop it. Is this, stop beating yourself up, okay? We've both paid our dues already on it. Oh God, look at that. Look at that monster. Who knows? This could be Rachel's revenge. Our revenge. The lighthouse is out of the way of the tornado. Come on! Chloe... I've got your back, Max. Whoa! Alfred Hitchcock famously called film Little Pieces of Time. I'm what back in class. As he what the hell? Us? These pieces of time can frame us in our glory. I have to sorrow. listen to this Jefferson Light lecture again. This From might be hell. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer okay, who perfectly this is messed up. In black and white? Am I stuck in a time loop? Anybody? Bueller? Diane Arbus. Be calm and go, don't Bueller. freak out. Why Arbus? Yet. Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. 
She saw humanity as tortured, right? What's going on? And frankly, it's bullshit. Nobody even cares? Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. Everybody's gone now. Have I totally fucked up time? This doesn't make sense. Not yet, you bastard. You didn't die, Kate. You're alive. Too creepy. <sighs> That's awful. That's me? Are you kidding? Holy shit. Look at all these dead birds. Uh, this can't be real. Rachel didn't deserve any of this. Oh no. I'm not going to take the bait. I'm not. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I just wanted to know if you'd like to spend the rest of your life in my dark room. Your purity inspires me so much. And we could be so happy together. Who needs selfies when I can give you portraiture? There's no way I'm saying that. No way. I like to think of it as our dark realm. It's the only place I truly feel safe and protected from the storm. Of course, Max. I can capture you over and over. You can be my model for life and death. We are going to be so happy together in the dark. Just make sure you stay pure. I won't like it if you get dirty like Rachel or Chloe. This can't be real. I don't believe it. Hey, Kate. Max, why did you stop me from jumping? What kind of friend are you? You never understood me, or what happened to me. Now my family will never leave me alone. And that means I'll always be alone. Thanks to you. Kate, that's not true. I've always been your friend. Yeah.
Never ends. I, I better find something. She met somebody who changed her life. Then poof. That's Rachel. Rachel. Why the fuck are you wearing my bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Do you think that Rachel and I would have been friends? You're not that bad. She had, has a great eye for images and for art. Plus, she's a smart ass like you. We would all be hella best friends forever. I miss Rachel too. But think about yourself, Max. Principal Wells told me about what you said out in the bathroom. I <laughs> Oh, my 
Don't try to hide, Max! Get over here! Let me capture you! Jefferson is coming after me again. Max! You no. used to be so pure, so innocent. Now, you have to die. Please understand, Max. The only place I can be my selfie is in the dark room. Max. Max, don't fuck around. Rewind. Max! You used to be so pure, so innocent. Oh, Max! You used to be so pure, so innocent. Now, you have to die. Please understand, Max. The only place I can be my selfie is in the dark room. What happened to your spark, Max? I thought I could be your professor. Max! to be so pure, so innocent. Now, you have to die. Please understand, Max. Max. Please understand, Max. The only place I can be my selfie is in the dark room. What happened to your spark, Max? I thought I could- Max! What happened to your spark, Max? I thought I could be your professor. For life. I realize now you'll never be Good honest. evening, Blackwell. This is Principal Wells. And I'm here to drop the mic on Max Caulfield. Miss Caulfield. Max. Hello, Max. I'm here to drop the mic on Max Caulfield. Attention, I regret to announce that one of your fellow classmates... Max, where are you? Max, come out to play. Come out to play! Tell Max's parents that she's... Hey, baby! Who wants to go ape? Go ape, go ape, baby! I knew I should have given that scholarship to Victoria instead of Max. Hold on, Max. I knew I should have given that scholarship to Victoria instead of Max. Hey, bitch! You, you get me expelled, but Max. 